This is day six of Algae Ico Sathlon. Previously on this series, we saw athletes face off in courts for volleyball. And after that event, Yellow regained the title of first place on this leaderboard, having 75 points and three gold medals. Brown, who was our challenger previously, made a big mistake, dropping himself a spot down to second place. Today's event will feature something that our athletes have been tested on previously. For more information on that, let's go to Kenland Empire for the details. Last time we had a running event, it was a 100 meter dash. This time, it'll be the long jump. Athletes will start out running, building up momentum along the way. Once they get to the takeoff board, they ought to be very careful not to step over the foul line. If they do, their run will be considered a foul and they will have to start all over again, which will be shown by the indicators with red lights. When they jump, they ought to get as much distance as possible as they approach the sand pit. If the indicators are white, that means the jump will be counted. Algae Eco Sathlon is a multi-event algae competition where athletes need to get as many points in a limited amount of days. Gray is going to be our first competitor running on the track right now and it appears that they're running and hopefully they can get a good score because they've been doing well for the past few events and it appears that they want to take over yellow and brown so and jump and 3.7 white indicator comes up looks like it's legal I think that gray is doing a good job I'm not sure how the others will do but for now this is a pretty good run Hopefully our athletes have been practicing their running skills since the 100 meter dash. Last time there were some major stumbles and hiccups from some of our runners, right Ragdoll? And here we have Magenta. They've been doing pretty well. They're in the middle of the pack but they're trying to move their way up. And it appears that they have been doing pretty eh in the running event but hopefully they can do better this time on the long jump. And then jump and 3.1 when the carry comes up that's another legal run. So it appears that not the best. It's slightly worse than gray, but overall, it might be good. We'll just have to see. And here we have Cyan. Turns out they were actually doing pretty good last time. It was between Brown and Cyan, and Cyan did pretty well, getting second place and jumping up a few spots. So it appears that it's about to get there. And the jump, and 4.1, white indicator, it's legal. That's actually our best run so far. Not sure how the others will respond, but we've already hit 4 meters, so that'll be pretty good for Cyan, who is trying to get their way up to the top. Did you notice the cones in the background? They mark every 5 meters from the start line, making it easier for our athletes to judge how far they have run on the track. Yellow cones are for multiples of 10, while orange cones are for multiples of 5. And here we have Pink, who, after seeing Cyan, also wants to go and get that first place and take it away from Cyan. Earlier on, they actually did pretty well, gaining 12 points on the first and second events. However, they didn't do particularly well in the running event, and wow. Distance of 2.3 meters, it's legal, and I'm not sure if they're going to be able to hold on to this lead since ever since the third event. They've been losing ground, and I think they're going to be overtaken soon if they don't shape up. Here we have Yellow, the defending champion, who is now first place and has gained three gold medals. Will they be able to keep on to this lead, and how long will it last? And it's getting close, and the jump, and 2.4 meters this time. Nope, that's not good. It was a particularly weak run, and I'm not sure if they're going to be able to hold on much longer with this performance, because others like Cyan, they've been doing well, and hopefully they can keep up, but looks like for now, Yellow's not doing well this time. Did anyone notice that there's a pattern with Yellow's performance? It seems like they always do well in the odd events and do poorly on the even events. This could be a curse on yellow, or good fortune. Depends on how you look at it. I hope I'm not the only one here. Here we have Brown, our second place competitor, who has been challenging yellow ever since Alchico Sathlon started. Briefly, they actually took over yellow on the fourth event, only to lose it right after on the fifth event. And it appears that they want to go and take it in the opportunity, and wow! A distance of, oh. This distance was pretty good, however, they just got a foul indicated by this red light, which means that this run will not count. Had they jumped a fraction of a second earlier, they could have possibly taken first, but they will have to do this again, and we don't know what will happen this time. 
but I'll have to do that run all over again, and this will be their second run. If an athlete gets three runs, all of them being fouls, then they'll be disqualified and will be automatically sent to the bottom of the list. Hopefully, it won't happen to Brown. And as they jump, and... Ooh, it's legal, and we got a distance of 4.4 meters. Even with that one mishap, they were able to bring it together and actually take first this time. What a great job. I actually thought they crossed the foul line, but it was very close. I mean, barely touching it. So good job to Brown for doing that. And here we have Lyon. Not exactly known to be the best at performance, but definitely a crowd pleaser. I mean, can't you just not hate a fruit? It appears that they're going to jump right around now. Distance of 4 meters, and looks like it's legal. It's definitely putting it in the middle of the pack. Not best, but definitely not the worst. The performance has been pretty average, but hopefully this will bring them up a little. Yellow always gets the spotlight for being the best, but clearly the fan favorite has to be Navy. I mean, when you have a comeback story like that, everyone wants to have a piece with you. They'll be stepping up on the track now. Can they keep going with their streak? And here we have Navy. Not exactly known to be the best, but definitely one of the favorites. Last time we had the running event, the 100 meter dash, they took home bronze, and I think they're going to be able to do well this time on the long jump. And a jump, and 3.4 meters. Pretty average. And I think they wanted to do better, but this is pretty good. Pretty good. And here we have Maroon, who, after two silver medals, has been doing good, but definitely not excellent like Lime or Gray has been doing. And it appears that they want to change that and make a name for themselves. And they're about to jump. Uh, and yeah, that's definitely way over the line. The indicators are red. That's definitely not a good look for Maroon, who I don't think they understood what they were getting into. This is Maroon's second attempt at the long jump. Hopefully, they won't make the same mistake like Brown did last time. So it appears that they're getting some pretty good momentum. Bit of stumbling, but nothing too concerning. And it looks like that... Hmm, maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Indicators flash red. Looks like Maroon will have one more attempt. One more. If they fail that one, then they're disqualified. Hopefully Maroon will not be doing that. I think Maroon is being a little too risky this time. And for a long jump, you definitely do not want to overstep the line because that will disqualify your run. No matter if you got the best run or the worst run. So hopefully Maroon understands now and they'll do it. And 3.4 meters, it's legal. So Maroon, definitely not what they wanted, but at least it's legal because if they had stepped over the foul line one more time, they would have gotten disqualified and they would have gotten zero points. We tried to get some actual sand for this event, but due to a problem with Algorix's servers, they couldn't transfer the sand from Algorix Momentum Granular to Algadu. We decided to use a sand substitute at the end of the day because like I said, stick figures are a lot tougher than fleshy meat bags. Last and definitely not least is White. After seeing everyone else run and make their jumps, I believe that White may have picked up something that everyone else hasn't and is going to try to use that to their advantage so that way they get the good run and distance of 4 meters. So they haven't crossed the foul line and I think that White is pretty satisfied with that because that will put them in the upper half of the leaderboard. It appears that they have stepped up the running game this time around. One of the biggest things that both Ragdoll and I have seen in this track was the improvement in running technique. The last event that featured running was on day 3 with the 100 meter dash. Some athletes slowed down or even stumbled backwards in that event, causing bad performances. This time however, they were able to overcome that issue by being more flexible with their approach to running. I really have to hand it to the coaches, they're really good at teaching our athletes how to adapt to different events. With that out of the way, once again, Yellow has fallen back to second place, while Brown has shot out to first for the second time. They have received another gold medal, while Yellow continues to remain stuck with no change in points for the third time. How long will that last for? Meanwhile, Cyan continues to perform well, having knocked Maroon out of fourth place. Our bottom half continues to change spots, with Lime having jumped the highest amount with three places, and Navy and Magenta both having fallen the most with two places. Overall, they continue to struggle as the gap in points between the top half and the bottom half continues to widen. You have been watching Algae Igo Sathlon. Check out our previous episodes right here. This is with Kenneth Pye and Racket Dole, signing off on behalf of the AML.